everybody. I'm Heather and I'm here with a video tour of my craft room slash nursery. So I love to do craft room tours anytime something changes in my room. If I am moving houses or if I have rearranged, um, I've done them over the years a few times now and I will link that playlist down below in the description in case you want to see what this room previously looked like or what some of my other rooms have looked like before this. But because of my major life change, if you watched my December daily video um, this last December, you will know that we are expecting a baby and she is due any day now at the time of recording this. Um, when this goes up, I believe she will already be here, so that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what my craft room nursery combo looks like now. So I am currently living with my husband and my dog in our two bedroom house. We live on a main floor and we have two bedrooms. So one was previously all craft room. This used to be all craft room, but now I am sharing it with the nursery, which I'm just so thrilled about. I love how this all turned out. So I'll give you the tour of the craft room Actually, I'll start on the nursery side and give you the overview because you probably... I won't go into as much detail with the nursery, I just want to show you how I've got it set up. So, here at the doorway, we've got our laundry baskets. This is the to-be-washed basket, and this is blankets, um, tons of blankets and things stored in there. In this bin down here, I have some baby toys. Um, that are all sanitized and ready. There's um, teethers, there's toys, there's soft books, all kinds of fun stuff. This is a little art display area that I love. You can probably tell, but the theme we were going for is um, woodland animals. So that's what this is all looking like. Um, in the closet here is a bit of baby and um, craft stuff and this is organized chaos so it doesn't look great but it is organized so I've got all of baby girls clothes up here organized by size um, there's a few things she'll wear right away but most of the things that are newborn and zero to three month are in the dresser here um, these are just a few items that are hanging and then all the bigger sizes We've got her bathtub in there. This is kind of her memory box of everything so far. This drawer is empty, which I will be putting clothes she outgrows into. Um, and then this is some memory stuff for scrapbooking, like a th um, things I've collected. Um, actually, actually, that's mostly paper in there, so different drawing paper. Um, as well as a few things I've collected for scrapbooking. And in the bottom drawer are some toys and books that she'll use when she's a bit older. I've got my older scrapbooks all here, my tripod. As you can see, again, organized chaos. This is a little um, car seat cover for winter up there down there. Um, my old laptop. A few other things organized. There's a shelf behind here with things um, for crafting as well and then more crafting stuff. So yeah, the, the closet is organized chaos but we like it. I've got this little deer hanger here which I've actually always had here but it works well with the woodland theme. And the crib is in this corner here. Um, I have got these adorable sheets on right now with the bears that matches this cover over here. And I attempted to make my own wallpaper here. These are animals that are Wild Whisper Designs icons that we have created over the years and I made a whole new pattern using them and printed it off just on paper, printer paper. But the installation didn't go quite ideally so it's a little bit rippled on the wall. I'm probably actually just going to paint that wall a green color because I think it's a little too busy as well with these other patterns I've got going on. 
So yeah, I do plan to change this out, but it's cute for now. Um, this is a mobile that I made. So I sewed each of these little things. And there's a bear in the middle, there's trees, mountains, clouds, and then tassels and feathers on the end. Like how that turned out. I just made this curtain um, because I thought we had a blind that we had taken down when we moved in, but we can't find it anywhere. So I just made this curtain with some canvas and I made these little tassels and attached them. Just used some, um, I think those are shower curtain thingies up there and a dowel. And you can see we've got our baby monitor up there. Um, here is a little basket with some of her stuffies, which of course we will take out when she is sleeping in here for safe sleep. Underneath the crib, I've just got a bunch more stuff organized. There's a basket with the extra sheets. There's the um, newborn diapers. There's some size ones in the back. This little suitcase has more blankets, if you can believe it more on top of these blankets. Lots of cute blankets. Um, and then over here, the dresser and our little bouncer thingy. This is Fisher Price, I believe, and it's adorable. It's a little deer, goes with the woodland theme. And here on above the dresser, I'm really out of breath because as you may realize I'm very pregnant, so sorry if this is really um, breathy and I'm gasping a lot, but doing my best. Um, so I've got this picture ledge and all these pictures of bears and mountains and fun things. I made this art piece, um, not actually intending for it to be in the nursery, but the colors worked out perfect. And then our change station here, we've got one of our sound machines, um, just some changing diaper stuff in there. In the drawers, this is my favorite part, here is the newborn drawer. And I did refinish this whole dresser, I painted it a few months ago, and um, I like how it turned out. I found these vintage little pulls as well. And so here is all her newborn size clothes, all rolled up fun. Um, it's not going to look like this for long, I'm sure, but it looks cute for now. And some extra change pad covers here. Then this is the zero to three month drawer. And again, <laughs> it won't look like this for long, but how cute is that? I love the rolled up look. I think it's um, Marie Kondo style. Down here are receiving blankets, and these are actually mostly swaddles on this side. And then blankets, um, car seat covers in there, some extra cords and stuff which I've labeled because I know I will forget what they're all for. We'll move our bouncer out of the way here. Top drawer here, it has cloths and pacifiers. so. Here we've got all the sterilized pacifiers and clips ready to go. In here are little booties. These ones rattle. I thought they rattled. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, yep, yeah, they rattle. I don't know. It was just stuck. And then there's other little booty things in there. Cloths. These are mostly like washcloths. And then these are burp cloths. Um, some instructions. Um, nail kit, nose booger sucker. Um, down here is accessories. This is a fun drawer. So we've got all the little baby socks, bath time stuff, bibs, bows, mittens, and a munch mitt. Other little accessories, hats in here, super cute, and some lotions and bath stuff there as well and swaddles and towels in here. So these are the Velcro swaddles, these are bath towels, and then these two things are actually um, baby carriers that wrap around the body. Um, those really complicated, scary looking ones, but they're not so bad, I've tried it out. And there's our diaper pail down there. 
Um, I really like this little rainbow thing that I made the other day. Um, I've been seeing tons of these on Pinterest and YouTube, and it was quite simple to make, quite fun. So then, that is pretty much the nursery stuff. Um, we do have this rocking chair here with this uh, jade green throw pillow. That's kind of the color I want to feature in here. I did get new curtains up here, which the color is blowing out, but if we cover the window... Oh dear. Still hard to tell the color, but they are a really nice jade green velvet with pom-poms, and they match the pillow here. And that's kind of the color I plan to paint this wall over here. Anyways, so that's most of the nursery stuff. Um, I do have baby's books up here. These are the, like, paper ones. Um, so she'll get to look at those with supervision or when she's older. And then down here are her board books that she can access right away. We'll be reading to her from birth because I think that's really important. So her board books are down there and accessible. Um, obviously this room is not baby proofed at all, um, but we'll worry about that once she's mobile. Um, so yeah, then up here I've got, this is all craft stuff. So I've got the silhouette, I've got this basket of some fibers, a couple plants, um, this little dish with a bunch of different embellishments and things. Um, I think this drawer unit is pretty much the same as it was. I have organized it a bit more. So in here is like fabric and felt stuff mostly. Um, in here is fairy garden and miniature stuff. Um, there's lots of rocks and sticks and fun stuff. In here, there's cardstock, extra stamp pads, um, more fibers and strings and stuff, adhesive, some paints. Um, in here, these were for a class, um, but underneath I've got other random refills and things. Some kids class stuff in there as well. This drawer is my mixed media drawer, so lots of um, fun stuff in here, paint brushes, pencil crayons, all different stuff. I use these cups for um, paint water. I've got my um, gouache set, some markers in there, watercolors, mixed media mediums, lots of fun. This drawer is all stamps, my wood mounted stamps and my punches. And then this is kind of a junk drawer, um, but again, organized chaos. There's all kinds of different DIY stuff in here. There's some feathers right on top, uh, a little paint roller, some vinyl for the silhouette, lots of stuff in there. Um, now over onto the desk, I've got this organizer. These are actually both um, meant for Keurig cups, so those little coffee K-cups. Um, but in this one I have washi tape, which I've kept in here for years and I love it. It's rainbow organized. And then I recently got this one, um, found it on the street, <laughs> and I put all my um, embossing powders in here. These are all my Emerald Creek ones, and then a couple other ones that are Stampendous, um, and some other randoms, but mostly Emerald Creek, because those are my favorites. Um, my heat tool just kind of lives here, or sometimes I throw it in one of these drawers. These drawers are pretty much the same as well. So in here I've got like pens, pencils, um, tags, different stuff. In here is ink, ink pads. In here is adhesive sort of stuff. So my glue gun, tape, um, envelopes. And I recently moved, so my embossing stuff and some mixed media stuff used to be in here, but now I moved my scrap papers all back to here. They're organized in Ziplocs by color. And I find having them this close to my desk, I actually use them now. So they used to live in one of the drawers 
which was further away from my desk, so I never reached for them. Um, sewing machine right on the desk, which I love now because I do use it more as well. Some pencils and paint brushes that I reach for often. There's my little string of dolphins plant, little organizer here. I keep my guillotine up on the desk now. I used to have it down here, but it's a lot more convenient up on the desk, and I don't actually need that surface space very often. Um, this little organizer has all my Wild Whisper stamps and ephemera, which I reach for all the time, as well as my oxide inks and distress inks, which again I use a lot. Back there is my tabletop easel, my jelly plate, a giant sketchbook that wouldn't fit anywhere else, and then I've got my cube shelf here with a bunch of decor on top and plants. These are real plants and I love how they're trailing down. Um, they look so cute. So let's move this guy so you can see. And this hasn't changed much either. Um, I've got my albums up there. I did put my notebooks all here recently. Um, this has cardstock. These are just some Ziplocs with different collections of things that I have grouped by project. There's just some washi samples in there. These drawers have some random mixed media stuff. Uh, this little cow is actually a tiny vacuum. He sucks up um, bits. <laughs> I've got my... Um, Oh dear, pregnancy brain. What is this thing? A typewriter. And then some other vintage things displayed. I've got a bunch of my Wild Whisper collections here, as well as some of the larger stamps and stamps from Pam and Nicole I keep there, whereas our Wild Whisper brand ones are there. Um, in there is pocket scrapbooking cards, as it says, and in here are more embellishments little packages of things. This is kind of messy but this is mostly patterned paper and a stash spot for all little scraps and stuff so I do need to organize that. Then I keep some stencils here. This is mostly photos stacked in here and in these two containers and then my planner and my notebook I reach for all the time here as well as a couple new paper packs that I need to put away. Um, down here. As it says, there's alpha stickers in here. Um, this is not labeled, but it's kind of just random stuff. There's some wood veneer and things in there. And these are all projects I'm working on. In that basket are my big dies, the thick kind. I've got the paper trimmer and then all the big shot plates and stuff here. Big shots down there. And that little bin has stickers in it. These white bins are new because I wanted to hide some of the chaos and I like how it looks clean on the shelf but inside I've got a stamping platform, I've got my Tim Holtz stamps, a couple empty albums, a couple um, Wild Whisper collections I need to organize, some Kleenex, my label maker, just random stuff in there but I love how clean it looks like that. These are my um, clear stamps in a binder, some planners, some cards that I've made. This is sewing stuff. Another bin here and this I love. It has all these containers with things so they're all labeled. This one says beads, embellishments, bottles. These are all clear bottles. As you can see, there's more beads here. This has um, eyelets, charms, charms, brads, and more brads, and then some other little embellishment things. Um, as I showed you, here are all of Baby's board books. Love those. Um, they're all pulled to the front, so I could push them back and put more in front as well if I need. 
And this green bucket has all my acrylic paint in it. Um, there's an organizer back there and some 12 by 12 card stock. And I showed you that cubby. So that is the whole cube shelf. Put the chair back there. And then I've got my Rolly Rascog cart here, which also hasn't changed much. Got lots of um, things I reach for quite often in here, like my Nouveau drops, mixed media stuff, um, sequins in here, smaller stamps. Down here, these are a bunch of embellishments organized. Ribbon in jars back there. Yeah, lots of fun stuff. So, that pretty much covers it. Again, here is a look at the room. And I hope this wasn't too out of breath of a tour for you, but we are really looking forward to welcoming our baby girl any day now and can't wait to get her in here and influence her to love crafting as much as I do. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week. Oh, I also wanted to mention this is my December daily from 2020 and I do plan to finish off the last video. Um, I actually have a couple more days to do in it, um, which I'll get to eventually, but I do want to film the video showing the last days of it because I think I only filmed up to the 17th of December or something and I do document right till the end of December so I will get there um, just keep an eye out for that one it's a pretty thick fun album so yeah again thank you so much for watching and have a great week everyone mm -hmm.